Today we're going to solve a popular interview question called Move Zeros. The problem is super straightforward. You're given an array that contains both zeros and non-zero numbers. Your task is to move all the zeros to the end of the array while keeping the relative order of the non-zero elements the same. For example, if the input is 0, 1, 0, 3, 12, the output should be 1, 3, 12, 0, 0. Let's start with an intuitive approach. We can create a new array, copy all the non-zero elements into it in order, and then fill the remaining spots with zeros. This solution runs in O, N time, but it also uses O, N extra space. It's simple, but it's not space efficient. In real interviews, you're usually expected to solve this kind of problem with O, 1 space, meaning you have to do it in place without creating a new array. So here's the in-place solution. The idea is to use two passes. In the first pass, we go through the array from start to end. Every time we find a non-zero element, we write it to the front of the array, keeping track of the next write position using a variable called index. After this first pass, all non-zero numbers are already in the correct order at the front, and index points to the first position where we need to start filling zeros. In the second pass, we simply fill the rest of the array, from index to the end, with zeros. That's it. The non-zero order stays the same, and all zeros move to the back. This approach runs in O N time and uses O 1 space. Clean and efficient. But we can actually do even better. We can finish it in just one pass. Here's how. We use two pointers, one called current, which scans every element, and another called last position, which marks the next spot to place a non-zero value. Every time current finds a non-zero element, we simply swap it with the element at last position and then move last position one step forward. By doing this, all non-zero numbers automatically shift toward the front, and zeros naturally get pushed to the back, all in a single pass. Once you understand these two methods, any similar problem where you need to move elements in an array will feel easy to handle.